Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Connect 6 from Native Instruments. I'm going to go over what is Connect 6 and how it differs from Connect Player 6. Connect 6 is a different um, hosting um, rack. It's the same thing as Player 6, Software, and Player Connect 6. It's like it's basically a more full version of it. Why Player Connect 6, like Connect Player 6, is more of a demo it lets you have some VSTs in there but not like all the other ones from third parties like you have say like from heavy Aussie they have like from loop samples and cinematics and they also got damage which you can't really bring in um, connect player 6 you need a full version of connect 6 to even operate it and this is like any other site but right now it's on sale for like $199 you can save them just $200 and it just basically goes over what's all in there. And it does say come with like three, it come with a lot analog, it come with um ether. It come with these like these like some of the ones that come in that come with it. Yeah. We got three new instruments right here for it. But they free you can also download if you have native access, you can download those without downloading connect six. So basically what you want to do is come to buy. See, it lets you know you have the full version. Just click add to cart. Or see, you have two in there already. I don't really need two. I only need one. So quantity, just one. See, now it's better. Now I just click, you know, I don't really know what redeem it. I think redeem is you could probably got some something else. You could probably redeem it. So y'all just want to click the checkout. You know, my building address is already in there. It says you're reviewing your order. And, you know, you just want to click on yourself to turn the use and conditions of it. Click on continue. Then for, you know, it tells you payment and confirm. So, if you got any of these PayPal's, you get to click on PayPal. If you just want to use a credit card, if you got enough money, just click on credit card. And you click on continue to payment. See, so lets you know that, and let you know, like, you no, know, this is amount due that you have to pay. And, you know, you still have your email address in, you type in your card information, same thing, then you just click on pay when it's done. Now, as you click on payment, it will be processing it. It gives your name, said Myers, thank for your order. You know, this is basically this receipt. No, it's showing you, you know, it's like, you know, you got to go to your native asset to download it. Now, once inside native assets, you will come to, you know, not install and not install. Well, I don't have it installed because I did because OBS actually froze on me. So I was working while OBS was frozen. So now I got unfrozen and it's working properly. Now you would come right here where it says not install. And you actually go and click on it. It'd be something almost similar to this, but this just say updates, but it's say not install, and you would click on install all. You could come down and click on individual it said not install. You know to say update, but in not install, that would it will look like it would just say not install. And once you click on it, then it would be installed and start to work. And once installed, you just go install. It will show you all right here where everything is all installed in the installed products. After you got all three installed, you can go right down here to install products. You see that, you know, got Analog Dreams installed. Creative Tools is installed. And this right here, this is, you know, the full version of Connect. And like you don't, like I said before, I don't know why, but I didn't record. But in the previous part, you come right down here where it's non install On this way, all your non install products will be. And you right here, this is where you be installing it from. And then all your products installed this is where all they will be at right here.
you know, you just go to desktop, should be a click on connect by itself and still open up with the full version. When you first sorry, when you first click on connect, it'll be asking you for your MIDI drivers where you want where you, you know the drivers where you want you know the audio device to be setting it. You can probably change the layer and preferences. I just go ahead and leave it alone for now. Click OK.